this house for 300,000 euros? That can't be true. Well, you'd be surprised. For those of you who don't know us, our goal is to build a luxury architect home with sea view in a beautiful location at record low cost. In fact, 300,000 euros or less. And yes, that is the architect's plan for this house. Now, the first step is finding a location. And we were looking for the best location in Europe after doing tons of research, looking across multiple countries, Portugal, Spain, Greece, Italy, Croatia, looking at criteria, taxes, costs, uh, uh, quality of life, access, all these different reasons we decided on Montenegro. And in fact, we had 10 reasons, and you can check down the link below. We did a video on the 10 reasons why I decided to invest in Montenegro. So that's a check. Step number two, got to find a buildable lot. So we went on site, and first we wanted to make sure, is it as beautiful as the videos we see uh, on YouTube? Is the country that, and I was just going to say, wow. I mean, just look at this. Seriously? I mean, it was so, so beautiful. Look at these images. This is from the trips we did, exploring, just incredible. So, so we said yes, and we visited, therefore, tons of lots. And even though we were looking for one lot, we got so excited and found great opportunities, we had decided to move ahead with two lots that we purchased. And you have also videos about that experience. All right, so that brings us to today, the purpose of this video, plans and costs, right? So this is where the fun starts. And um, first, we have to find an amazing architect that could do a modern, beautiful home and we had to get the first breakdowns of costs. So we met with the architect, we went through all the plans, and in this video, I'm gonna cover three things. I'm gonna show you the plans with a 3D rendering, the floor plans, I'm gonna walk you through these. Number two, I'm gonna take you through the costs, I'm gonna break down the cost estimates we received. And number three, I'm gonna give you a quick update on the real estate market and what we've seen in some trends, super interesting what's happening in Montenegro, so don't miss out that last section. So that's it, that's the program. It's gonna be, a, as always, rapid fire information, hopefully it's useful, so let's jump in. All right, let's go to the plans. Now, before we just show you the plans itself, just a reminder on the location, so you have here the lot you can see and the beautiful views overlooking the bay. It's close to Tivat Airport, it's on the Bay of Kotor and close to all the main attractions. So here are the 3D plans, right? And the idea was, you can see here, just clicking here, uh, we wanted something super modern, beautiful. You can see the stone there, you have access with the garage, the pool, uh, little Eric put long chairs. You can see here on the side, this just you know the, the 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 road that's just on the side of the lot there. And we're using all the stones that are on the site. There's tons to make the you know barrier. I'm gonna just pause the video here on the back side. So remember that this house is north facing, but the hill was not that big. So there's a lot of the sun is slightly coming from back here. So we really made sure that's one reason why we put the pool on the side without the structure. So the sun will go hit down there, but we want the sun to be able to go through. So you see here the back of the house, there's a small window, but I'm always looking when we're traveling for you know, ideas, inspiration. Right here, this is an example. At night, I was in Dubai a couple weeks ago, and I saw this, I said that would be beautiful, sent it to architects. So we're gonna be making some changes to these plans, bigger windows, more light going through, lit staircase, beautiful. So let's keep playing the video, as you can see here. Now there's a lot on the side here, so we put a bit of shrubs there to kind of block off a little bit. And of course, on the top, um, Really, the purpose is when you're on in the, the, the upper floor will be the kitchen, living room, dining room. You want to have those big windows overlooking the bay. And we want to be as high up as possible because in the lot below, someone could build. So this way, we're back at the lot, three layers up. We're pretty sure this is guaranteed. Nobody's going to block our view, so we're going to look all over to the bay. So that's it on the video. And let me take you now just uh, to the plans. So here are some renderings of the plans, and you can see here actually where there's an option we can close off everything, which we really like in terms of security. Uh, here's the next one. You can see scrolling down with um, you know the, the the windows open. You can see there the access from the side. So just giving you a bit again different views here, uh, and again using all this stone 
from the lot itself for the walls. So that gives you a bit of a sense. So um, let's go into the plans and I'm gonna start. So on the ground where you have the uh, access to the car there, so two, part, two car garage, staircase, you have a little wash area, you have also below the pool there with all the um, you know uh, mechanical and uh, machinery needed for the pool. So you walk up and you arrive to four bedrooms to set the level where the pool is. You have bedroom one, two, three. You have a bathroom there shared between the three and the master bedroom. Now we're gonna change around a bit. We wanna open it up, put the bathtub there that you could see, just beautiful. So uh, we're gonna make a few changes and then we go to the top layer level and here you have the the kitchen, dining room, and the seating area just right overlooking the bay. So you got a great sense of the plans. And before I move to the costs, I just want to highlight, if you recall, we got another lot in Zabraje, right? And we've just subdivided that lot. We reparcel it into three, and we're gonna build three houses. And here's just, let me share with you a little layout as a sneak peek. This is very early on, but you can see here, uh, kind of with the three houses side by side, crazy views, I'll remind you. And we're gonna probably be either selling off two lots or building two homes and selling them and keeping one. Or we also had some investors contact us and my wife uh, has a real estate company. And so if you're an accredited investor and interested in investing in Montenegro, where well, you can reach out to us. We're super excited, more to come. That's a sneak peek. It will be in one of our next videos. So make sure if you're interested to find out more about that project, well, subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when we have a new video. So right now, let's go into the cost. So we met with the architect and got the first cost estimate. So we're gonna divide up in the first phase, what we call the gray phase, earthwork, uh, earthworks, foundation, concrete, laying all of that. Often in Montenegro, we use a different contractor that is expert at this. They have the giant machinery, right? They come in and they set up all of the, the gray work. So uh, if we look at the costs uh, for this phase, the estimate from architect was, you know what, it's about 250 euros per square meters. So if you do 250 times 260 square meters, well, you have here the price at 65,000 euros, okay? So let's move to materials. Now, the cost of material is gonna really depend on what level and type of material you choose. And the analogy that I've used is if you look at a car, I want it to look like a Porsche, but cost like a Volkswagen or a bit less, right? But I want it to be great quality. So uh, the cheapest you could get probably is around the 250 euro per square meter. That's the feedback of architect, medium priced, you know, something good, uh, super quality, 400 to 500 euros per square meter. And if you want to move to the top, that's around the 700 and that's plumbing electrical included, right? Uh, so if we look at here, what does it mean? It means 260, we're going to take 450 euros. Uh, as an estimate here, so kind of mid higher in there, and that takes us to 117,000 euros. Now, HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Now, the prices can be all over the place on this, right? You could get a simple multi-unit system, which is the cheapest, right? Or you could have central boilers, heat pumps, solar collectors, multi-split systems. Uh, there's just so many options, right? So we went out to a few suppliers, they came back and we said, we definitely wanna want to uh, have some floor heating. We wanna have some solar panels to be able to heat up also the pool and lower electrical bill. So we planned a higher here than some of the quotes we received, we're at 45,000 euros. All right, the next is the pool. And you can see here in the design, you know, it's quite a small pool, perfect. Um, if you want a really simple pool with a skimmer, it's gonna be on average about 20,000 euros. Now, you wanna put ceramic tiles. The price of ceramic tile can be five euro per square meter. It can go up to 100 euros per square meter. So the price can really change. But we want, you know, a pool that looks beautiful, but, you know, quite simple. Um, connected, of course, to the, the heating. So we're gonna plan here for 30,000 euros. And then finally, other costs. And when you research it, everybody says you need to plan for other costs. And say between 10 and 20% of the cost. Well, we're gonna give ourselves some room at 17%. We're gonna add 43,000 euros there for other costs. And that takes us to a total of 300,000 euros. So here's the recap with the gray phase of materials, the heating and cooling, the pool, other costs, and there we are. Now, wait a second, you're gonna say. So first of all, we hit the 300. Amazing, so it is possible. But wait a second, you're gonna say, the architect quoted we could be lower, right? He gave a range, and we took some of the mid-ranges just to be safe. 
Could we drop it down? Well, we worked on a scenario number two. Let's say if we really pushed on the costs. And you can see here a few of the differences, right? Gray phase, we kept the same. We pushed the materials down by 100 euros per square meter, so down to 350. So there you go, 350 times 260 square meters, and you're at 91,000 euros. The heating, we took down to 35. The pool to 25. Give ourselves some room still with 34,000 for other costs at 16%. We're at 250,000 euros to be able to build this house. Now, if you recall in the prior videos, we asked a lot of realtors up front, how much would it cost per square meter to build? And ultimately, we had started hearing some said, you know, read at the lower end, six, seven hundred, but a great price is a thousand euros per square meter where you can get really something nice to build in Montenegro. Well, if you do the math, you could see right here on the first option at 300,000 euros, if you divide it by 200 square meters gross, you're at 1,154 euros per square meter. So a little bit above that thousand. And if we look at the second scenario at 250, and you take 250 divided by the 260 square meter, uh, 206 square meters, you're at 962 euros per square meter to build. That's exactly in that 1,000 euro range. So again, the numbers are lining up with everything that we've heard and the estimates we've received. So that wraps up the costs. The last point is gonna be quite short, but listen up real estate evolution in Montenegro. So we are constantly watching the evolution, we're looking at the prices, and we've seen the trend. Apartments in the desirable areas, the prices are going up very fast. We've had other people contact us because they're so excited about their projects, and they're seeing their prices go up. So the prices of real estate are going up in Montenegro, but there's still amazing deals to be found. There's another trend that we noticed is originally one of our concerns was because we're planning on renting these homes while we're not there, when we're not using them on Airbnb, and the rates per night were super low. Well, we're planning this summer to go for two weeks, so we were rent looking at renting places, and we were really surprised. The price has gone up by 2x, 3x, much closer. Now, Montenegro still remains very reasonable, but much closer to what you'll find in other places um, in terms of you know higher rates, which is great news if you have a place. And the more you have a place, I mean, look at these designs, look at this house. This can be rented at a complete premium and there's not much on the market like that. So we know we're gonna be really rent out. So that's great news. And on top of that, just keep in mind the country, it's moving fast. So that famous road that they're building where a section of the road from Podgorica, which is the capital, to Kolaskin, which is a ski resort, that is being completed now in April. What does it mean that an hour and 20 minute car drives down to 45 from the airport? They're developing more ski resorts around there. And that area, we've been watching land and property, a lot of great opportunities. So make sure um, you keep an eye on Montenegro if you're interested, reach out to us. So thank you so much for watching the video. More to come in the future videos about our projects there. Thank you and we'll see you soon.